I'm Jennifer, and my business is DR TV Services, and they're down in Dent Street, just down the road from me. And um, I interviewed Debbie White, who's the um, wife of the third generation that have had this shop. So this shop's been going for a very long time. I was fascinated by the history of the shop. Um, the fact that in the 50s they started and it was then called Downs Radio yeah. and Television had just come in, you know. So it was Downs Radio, then it was Downs Radio and Television. And now they specialise in things like place, fixing placement screens and, uh, you know, moving right along. So I wanted to, I knew, being a bit of a history person, this was my first look at it. As you know, when, when we were at the grid doing our workshop, I hadn't even drawn anything yet. I'd been so obsessed with everyone else, which is a bit of the story of my life, getting everyone else along that I hadn't started my design. But I knew the image that I wanted to use was this image here. It shows the sign on the corner of Dent and Herry Street, where their business is, poking out of this most turbulent, it looked like very frothy beer, and it was flying up with dirt, and, with dirt in it. And she told me, within this area here, she said, if you look very closely, she said, you can see my husband and boys escaping. It was school holidays and she had her two sons in the shop and she said it had rained before in Dent Street and they were used to the water coming up and they were sort of quite relaxed about it. The water's coming up, the water's coming up. And then of course it started coming in the front door. And then, it's, and then she had the kids up on her desk in her office and then she thought, we've got to get out. So she said they found a way out, the back way, and then up under this awning here, where they escaped. So this little frame here, for me, was the epitome of the story. That was the nut of the story, and she agreed. Um, so they got out by walking over the television sets of all their clients that were in the shop and go getting out the back way and escaping up there. So this image was, uh, was on TV all around the world. So because they're a TV shop, I wanted to have a TV screen. And this was gifted to me by someone at the uh, design workshop before I'd even thought about the design. So thank you, whoever it was, that suggested a television set. Who was it? Christian. Christian. Good on you, Christian. <laughs> I, I knew I wanted to sort of reference the combi wagon or something about their history. This was the logo that they had for their 60s vehicle. That, that they've got a photo of their 60s vehicles up in the shop and the old shop as it was, which looks a little bit like the house I live in, but I haven't renovated it into a shop. Um, fortunately, they have a very nice brick wall and they've painted the, the colour scheme of, is red and grey with the logo. Here's the bigger one. So this was my first work on my design. I just thought, yes, yeah, something there, television screen. And I want their logo to be victorious um, over the top. I know this scale isn't very good, but I thought, yeah, the, their old logo, the history, all this... Um, Blood walk going past the television set with the identifying street sign and the logo. So this was my second draft. I don't want to set it down on the ground, right down on the ground here on the grass. I thought it'd be better to set it where the grey paint starts on the on the on the um, brickwork. There's a um, um, shaded piece of glass there and the level of the flood is marked 
with the with the water here. So that's the level of the flood, which comes. Um, this was the wrong proportion here. I had to change the proportions. Um, so that that's the level of the flood, and um, above it, you know, some grey clouds. I love working with um, small pieces of mosaic, rectangular pieces. I I chop glass tiles in half with my grass tile cutter to get that line. So I've got some different, I'm collecting greys <coughs> and I'm collecting more greys and paler greys so I can do some grey sky. Um, and I'm collecting browns. I haven't got enough browns yet, but I might have to go on a scavenge to get some more browns. I love the, the idea of the combi wagon and the history. And I put on there 1952 one as, as being the date, uh, sort of like that. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I love the idea. I think it was you, Helen, of um, using my Dremel to, to write on the tiles and then putting the grout in there. Thank you for giving us that idea. That's a beauty. And um, so I think I'll probably do a bit more with the combi wagon so that it's, because, it, uh, I, you know, I'll use a lighter coloured brown there to symbolise that that's under the water because this is where all the cars were just zooming along. So I don't want to make it too gory, but I do want to put reference to their history and also the car. So that's it. And this, I'm going to do these lines in the mirror for the logo in very fine bits of mirror that I can make it do the corners nicely. And they've got the three coloured things, which, you know, the colours that are used to get the colour on the colour TV. That's on the logo. So I look forward to hopefully making it. If I don't make it, say la vie. They like it. They like the design. And um, I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, the story of the water, even though the water level came to about here inside the shop, that turbulent water here was flipping right up right up out of the water. It wasn't just a line inside the shop. She said the water was splashing up right under the awning so that the splashes of water were coming up. Do you think it looks messy? No, no I that no, tells, just wanted to know. That, te that tells you that, I mean, yeah. even that, that was the line of the yeah. water inside. That was splashing up mm -hmm. above. I wanted it to be sort of a bit dynamic. I like the idea of spacing out little bits so that it's sort of getting smaller and smaller and sort of going up into the sky, which the water was just mm. flying. Any I was other? just wondering. Yes. Um, in, that, in that blue sky yeah. area where you've got your grey clouds going across, yeah. um, I think it's in the one on the left you said you've got a little sign with Dent Street. There. Could you take that up, exaggerate it a bit, and put it in that space, yes. in that sky space, just to put something in there? I want the sky to be a bit more like the grey clouds. I was just thinking maybe an elongated street sign, just put your little words of density. Yeah. Yeah. Not How much like? You mean like an antenna? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like that sky. To be continued, I probably won't get in because look how small it is. It's not very wide, is it? No, I haven't written down the dimensions here. They're in my submission. It's about, um, here we are, look, here's, here's, here's all my wonderful calculations here. <laughs> 50 centimetres by 175. Oh, so it's quite It's quite long. That's bigger than it's half a square metre. It's bigger than half a square metre. Sorry, I indulged myself. <laughs> and in fact, I'll bring this down a little bit because I do need to have some more. It's not real bright blue, but just that promise of, you know, survival. I, I wanted it to be like... This is what was shown on TV. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the, this edge of the screen in my second draft isn't total black line because some of the splashing is coming up yeah. onto the screen. And, and if you go to the chop R code up there, 
I'm putting it in here. Yeah. <laughs> With dance strength. Yeah, it's probably not ideal. No, I'm going to barcode up. Barcode there. Yeah. Yes, yes, I think I, that, was a, that was a design error. And I did mean to do a full size next version, but I just didn't get around to doing it. It's, it's very Trying to find a space that's accessible as well because um, when you look at the outside of the building, um, it, it's about here, it comes to about there, that's where I wanted it because it's about waist height. Yeah. Waist height, if you're standing there, it gives you the yeah. place to put your phone out. So. When I was stopped at the lights there the other day, the sidewalk of their building in um, Is building is big. because this is where people walk yeah, in the door yeah. and there's a lot of traffic people walk around there I, I made that decision but who knows to be continued and I could think about that yeah. yeah okay 